Now, what about if I'm not looking at an actual temperature, I'm looking at a temperature difference. Uh, then I won't use that 32 degree shift. All I want to take account of is the difference in the size of each, um, of each degree, right? A temperature difference of 9 Fahrenheit degrees is equal to a temperature difference of 5 Celsius degrees. Now I should tell you about those degrees. If I'm looking at an actual temperature, I'm talking about, you know, it's uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit in this room, then I use degrees Fahrenheit. Just like you're used to seeing, the degree goes before the Fahrenheit, uh, 21 degrees Celsius. But if I'm looking at a temperature difference, what we do is we signify that by changing it to Fahrenheit degrees. We take that degree sign, put it over on the other side. So uh, maybe it, the temperature in this room has increased by 5 Fahrenheit degrees since I got in here. Or, well, you can see how that works. What else? Oh, sign changes. We can use a sign change to show a temperature difference in time because time just runs one way. Uh, if it's five degrees, if it's five Celsius degrees warmer now than it was when I got in here, I can say the temperature change is this morning has been plus five Celsius degrees. If it's five, degrees, five Celsius degrees cooler, I can say the temperature change is minus five Celsius degrees. So in time, I can show which way the temperature changed. I can't do that in space. Like, uh, this fist is four degrees Celsius, four Celsius degrees hotter than this fist. So this fist is four Celsius degrees hotter than this fist. I can't give you a plus or minus because it's in space, not in time. I can just say that this fist is hotter than this fist by four Celsius degrees. And I can also tell you that heat is going to flow from this fist to this one because heat always flows from the hotter body to the cooler body. So let me write down the, the formula for a temperature change. I'll, I'll write them both down. Keep in mind that uh, you know I wrote down two equations, one to go from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius just now, and one to go from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. It's the same equation. Uh, you just have to do the algebra to get it, and I, I just did it for you. But they're the exact same equation, just rewritten. Solve it for the unknown, right? So let's see how this works. I want to look at. Uh, temperature difference in Fahrenheit degrees and I've got a temperature difference in Celsius degrees. Well that's just going to be 9 Fahrenheit degrees for every 5 Celsius degrees times the temperature difference in Celsius degrees. No 32. If I want to look at the temperature difference in Celsius degrees, then that's going to be 5 Celsius degrees over 9 Fahrenheit degrees times the temperature difference, and that delta again means difference in or change in, times the temperature difference in Fahrenheit degrees. Now, a lot of times you'll see this 9 fifths, uh, 9 divided by 5 is 1.8. Sometimes you'll see 1.82. But you see that 9 fifths, and you won't see you know, 9 Fahrenheit degrees over 5 Celsius degrees. I include that so you can see how the units work. Uh, that way you can make sure you get it right. So now we know how to do convert from temperatures, actual temperatures in degrees Celsius to actual temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we know how to do temperature differences and convert from those units. I should mention that there are other units for temperature. Uh, absolute temperature. Temperature is a measure of the, of the jiggling of molecules. And the faster they're jiggling, uh, the bigger the temperature. At some point, you can imagine there's gonna get, you're going to get down to a point where there'd be no jiggling. You can't actually do this according to something called quantum mechanics, but you can get very close. And the point at which they would theoretically stop jiggling, that's no temperature at all. In Fahrenheit units, that would be minus 400 and 59 degrees Fahrenheit. In uh, degrees Celsius, it would be minus 273 degrees Celsius. People who work uh, in conditions that are very cold, or they, or they work with things that are very, very cold, near absolute zero, what we call, uh, they use a different scale. For degrees Celsius, they use uh, Kelvins. And Kelvins, a Kelvin has the same size as a degree Celsius, but it starts at zero, at absolute zero. So zero Kelvins is 
273 degrees Celsius below zero. Um, and so, so zero degrees Celsius is 273 kelvins. And that's the most common scale. There's one equivalent for the Fahrenheit scale as well, and that's degrees Rankin. So for uh, minus 459.4, whatever it is, degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolute zero, that's called zero degrees Rankin. And, uh, well, you can see from there. So it's got the same size as a degree Fahrenheit. Um, Kelvins, they call them Kelvins, not degrees Kelvin. It's just something they're used to. I'm not going to test you on that. I'm really concerned about the degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit for that.